the debate, President Trump has said that he wants to be there on October 15th. We all witnessed that debate up close in the arena there. How is this next one going to look different? How would you like it to look different? <laughs> I don't know, Martha. Uh, the last one, the last one, the last one was um, going to be historic, I think, as, as a debate. Uh, probably a lot having to do with the pent up emotions of both mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. going into it. I think th the next one I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain is going to be more, um, let's say, within the rules. I think they both uh, realize that they, they accomplish more that way. But the reality is, when I hear that response, <coughs> that Joe is going to listen to the experts and be guided and, and be, be determined and the president is going to do it. I mean, I was the mayor of New York City. I don't always listen to the experts. The experts aren't always right. Nobody elected the experts. They elected you. I'll give you an example. Scientists may want you to shut down out of an excess of caution, but you may realize that the damage of shutdown is greater than if you don't shut down. In other words, you're going to kill people. Yeah. People are going to die of uh, suicide. Or so. There's no. There are no experts on governing. I understand There's what you're no saying. There's no such thing as scientific rules for governing. I understand what you're saying, but, you know... And I find that what, what, what that, tell, that tells me the difference between a man who's never been an executive, Joe Biden, mm -hmm. 47 years, doing basically nothing in Congress, Senate, and a man who's been an executive who has to make decisions for other people. But when you look at the polls, and I know that, you, you know, everybody questions the polls, <laughs> but, but pretty consistently... Um, Joe Biden does outperforms the president on the handle who would handle COVID better. So there, there seems to be a lot of appetite for people who think that the president has been, uh, you know, not serious enough about following these guidelines, at least if you believe those numbers. Well, yeah, I don't know. Given the experience of the last couple of uh, elections, particularly the one in 16, I, just, I don't know personally how much credit to give any of these polls. Uh, I can see why people might favor the Biden approach because they've been frightened so much. I mean, they've really been traumatized by, uh, at the beginning, correctly, uh, what has happened. And I think this is largely the de Democrat governors and mayors. Yeah. They just want to keep up this shutdown for reasons that no longer are scientific. There's nothing scientific about closing schools right now. In fact, it defies the science. Well, so, New York is talking about closing them down again, and there's a big battle going on on that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes. There's a lot of there is a lot of interesting indications that the lockdowns were uh, were overdone um, in a number of ways. Uh, Mayor Giuliani, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll look forward to having thank you back. You, and I thank hope that cough is not anything bad where well, you're waiting for your test to come back. So uh, we hope you're going to be healthy and well. I hope so, too. Thank you. All the best. Good <laughs> I'll luck. I'll let you know tomorrow. Good, yeah, let us know. Check back. Good thank luck you. to you. Take care, sir. So that is the story of Monday, October 5th, 2020. But as always, the story continues. And boy, uh, it's a whopper most days around here. So don't miss tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. We will see you live in Salt Lake City, Utah, where we get ready for the vice presidential debate. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.